Hello everyone. So um, last week I had um, done a tip of the week on pivot points. And um, after I put up that tip of the week on pivot points, I had some sort of questions in response to some things that I think I had not addressed in that video. So I wanted to take the opportunity this week to talk to you a little bit more about pivot points uh, before I move on to another topic next week. So um, let's talk a little bit now about pivot points again. So I'll just recap what I said last week that um, when you're working in Animate, uh, then you have the option of doing a peg level pivot using your rotate tool or um, setting your pivots directly on your drawing layer with your um, pivot tool. But you don't have the option that you have in Animate Pro and Harmony where you can take the pivot from a drawing layer and promote it up to the peg level. So let's just do a really quick recap over here of that. So I've got this sample file of the Karate Rabbit here. I went back to the unrigged one uh, for the purpose of showing just a couple of things today. Um, so let's take, for example, the hand. Uh, I'll just take this hand right here. And you can do it in the camera view or in the drawing view. I think sometimes that it's safer to set your pivot points in the drawing view because this isolates the drawing on its own so you know that you've got the right drawing. So I'll just take my pivot point away from where it was there and smack it back over here. So when it's in the right spot, when I click on my transform tool, now my transform tool, when that drawing layer is selected, takes that pivot into, into consideration. Um, and then if I add a peg layer that's a parent of this hand, it doesn't take that drawing into consideration by default. And so this is that case where when you're working in Animate, um, you know, you can either just use the peg level um, pivots, which is kind of what I would recommend because I think that's um, the easiest way there. And then you can split the different views onto different timelines. So I can just drag my, my peg layer pivot over there. Or you can use the trick that Shabana shows in the tutorial videos about using an empty drawing layer um, to set your pivot points. Um, so let's talk a little bit more now about a couple of things regarding pivot points. Let's say that you are working in Animate Pro or Harmony and you're wanting to do this option where you promote your uh, pivot up to the parent layer. So I'll add my peg back again in here and now I would like to go into my drawing layer if I double click on it and uh, let me grab my layer properties from my other window there. Okay so I would like to go into this drawing layer and then use the drawing tab and promote or apply the embedded pivot to the parent peg. So I can do this through my layer properties window. There's nothing wrong with doing it that way. But the only downside of doing it this way is that I then have to go into every um, drawing layer one by one and do that. And if you did want to do it in the layer properties window, then you can add your layer properties window as um, a window directly in your interface. And then I would, you know, copy it onto the side here or drag it onto the side so that you can see it at the same time. And then as you go, you can do it for each one. So let me just... Um, undo that addition of the peg that I did and then I'm going to select um, all of my drawing layers and then I'll click on that add peg button which is going to add a peg for each drawing layer so just to show you as an example now if I wanted to take this eyelid one and promote it I just go into my drawing and click there to, to apply to the parent peg and then I just simply go down to the next drawing layer click here and apply to the parent peg that's one way of doing it but even when you do it that way, it still takes a little bit of time. So I want to show you another trick for Anime Pro and Harmony on how to do this a little bit faster. So I'll go into my network view and um, I've got all of my drawing layers on one side and I've got all my pegs sort of on the other side. Um, so this is going to make it really easy for me to select all my drawing layers at the same time um, since my pegs are all over there because I can just drag all of my drawings. And um, once I have all of my drawings selected, actually it looks like I missed a few, so I can hold down, um, I think it's uh, command, yeah, I can hold down command or control to add to my selection. So once I have my selection completed, then there's 
a handy script that exists in the scripting toolbar. And I'll do another um, tip and trick later on about the scripting and how to do scripting and what's in the scripting toolbar. Um, but for now, I just want to point out one script that's um, going to be useful for us for this. And that script is this script right here, which is called TB Enable Drawing Pivot. And it kind of looks like a bullseye. So this is one of those preset scripts that comes with Anime Pro and with Harmony and it also comes on this scripting toolbar by default. So if you select all of your drawing layers, and remember that you're doing this on the drawing layer, not on the peg layer, if you select all of your drawing layers and then you click on that TB Enable Drawing Pivot, then it's going to adjust all of the layers at the same time to take that particular attribute into effect. So that means that you don't have to go one by one, you can just select them all at the same time and do that option. And now if I check, if I go back to my transform tool and I click just on the peg layers, you can see in my camera view that the peg has now been taken into um, the, the drawing level pivot into account when I'm using my transform tool. So that's one handy script to know and um, is definitely very widely used out there. Okay, so that's about getting the pivot point from your drawing to your peg. But another question that I had in response to the uh, pivots video was what to do when you want to copy um, a pivot from one drawing to another. So let's take, for example, my hands. Let's go back to that handy hand layer. Um, ha -ha. And so I've got my hand here now. And I'll look in my drawing view again just so that I can see all of the hands in one spot. So let's say that I've got one pivot way over here and then my other hands have the pivot in the good spot. Well, let me just have one hand that has it in the good spot. So I'll move the others all to weird places. Um, oops, I moved all of them to weird places. Let me move all but one to weird places. Okay, so I've got one of them here that's in the right spot, and then all of my other drawings are having their pivots in the wrong spot. So there are a couple of ways that you can copy pivot points from one drawing to another. Um, if you're just copying one pivot from one drawing to a second drawing, I personally think an easiest way to do this is just with your pivot tool selected, um, you know, make sure that you select the drawing that's the drawing that has the correct pivot point that you want. And then I like to just hit spacebar and click to get the focus in my drawing view or my camera view. And I, and I hit the spacebar because it brings up the hand. So I know that if I click in this window, it's not going to um, lose my selection or change anything in, in that with whatever tool I have selected. You can also turn on that focus on mouse enter property that will follow your mouse around. I just prefer not to work that way. And then the last thing you could do to get the focus in here is you could also click in this gray space on the top of the window. Once your focus is in this window, you can simply do your control C or command C to copy. And then you can select the next drawing that you want to paste the pivot to and then get the focus back in this window again and then control V or command V to paste and you'll notice now that that pivot snaps into the right spot. And then you can even use your shortcuts as you go to zip through from one drawing to another to um, make sure that you've got all the pivots. So those shortcuts for previous and next frame are the um, comma and the period. They'll go back and forth. So that's one way of doing it. Um, I personally like that way because it seems uh, very visual and interactive to me, but um, there are other ways. So let's do this again, but I'll, I'll move some of these pivots off to the wrong spot, and I'll show you the other way.